It has been 18 months since the last time the University of Toledo updated the public on the state of the university. But that changed today when interim UT, U Toledo president Matt Schroeder spoke about the health of the school and where he sees it going. Laura Sandlin joins us live from UT's campus. Laura, what did he say today? Well, Jeff Kaylee Schroeder said that he addressed problems from the university, including their strengths and weaknesses from the past couple of years today over at the Thompson Student Union. After more than a year, U Toledo shared the updated happenings and plans for the university. From my perspective, that is too long to wait, given all of the opportunities that we have in front of us. Interim University of Toledo President Matt Schroeder addressed issues with the continued decrease in enrollment, program cuts, and other financial challenges. Enrollment and the headwinds that all of all the colleges and universities face are real. Um, for us, it's really getting back to the fundamentals with our recruitment plan and working that plan to completion. We are not going to be able to cut our way to success. The university has seen a steady decline in enrollment numbers over the past several years, with a 3.8% drop in overall students enrolled in the fall 2024 semester compared to the fall of 2023. That's the nature of a state of a university address, right? Um, on one hand, you like to only talk about the positives, um, but the reality is that there are always challenges. However, despite the challenges they've faced, Faculty Senate President Jerry Van Hoy says the university is taking steps in the right direction to find success. We really need to work on um, convincing students that we're their destination. I think faculty are eager to help work on um, issues like enrollment. Schroeder says following the program cuts in the spring, the administration made the choice to begin taking steps to invest in the future of the university with a focus on recruitment, retaining students, and potential in their growing programs. We have been fiscally disciplined over the years. We have made some very difficult decisions. We are now at a position, though, where we need to invest. Schroeder says over the next couple of months, the university will be taking the necessary steps to find a permanent person to fill the presidential position. However, Schroeder says he will be participating as a candidate in the interviews and at this time has no intention of leaving the university. Reporting in West Toledo, Laura Sandlin, WTOL 11.